When serpent um, bluffed Eve and made Eve and Adam both fall of the glory of God, look what God said to the serpent. In Genesis 3 verse, and verse 15, 14 and 15. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Because you done so, ser serpent, you're going to go on your belly all the days of your life and you will eat what? Dust. Snakes eat the dust of the ground. And they go on their belly. Other creatures have legs. S uh, the snake has nothing. Creepy crawly on the belly. And eats dust. And I'm going to put enmity between, look at this, between you, serpent, and the woman. I'm going to put an enmity between you, snake, and the woman. And between your seed and the woman's seed. Who is her seed, the woman? Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. So the Lord God, in the moment where the serpent uh, be, uh, made Adam and Eve fall, he came straight away to the serpent and he said, this is what I'm going to do. You're going to be cursed for all the days of your life. On your belly, you're going to keep and uh, you're going to crawl and you're going to eat the dust, of, the dust of the earth. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. Listen, Satan, you made my son Adam fall. I'm not going to interfere now because I am spirit. And if as a spirit I come into this realm without a physical body, I become illegal. Because when I gave dominion to this man, he was humus man. Earth, flesh and spirit at the same time. This human had the spirit in this physical body. I, God, am only spirit now. I'll put on the physical body and I'll become a human where me as God the spirit will be legal in this, uh, in this realm. I'll become a man. I'll put on the body. And when I put on this body, guess what, snake? I'm going to crush your head on Calvary on the cross. For I, Jesus Christ, I am the seed of the woman, Mary. God came made a promise, and he came. God became legal in Jesus. He's got a physical body now, because to remain in this realm, your spirit must have a physical body. The day you lose that physical body, the spirit has to go back to the spiritual realm, cannot stay here, because the moment the spirit on its own remain in this realm, it becomes illegal, there is no visa for it, must be kicked out. That's why when a person dies, what is death? The biological death, the physical death, the spirit departing from the body. The moment the spirit departs from the body, cannot stay here, has to go to the spiritual realm. So what happened? The Lord Jesus died on the cross physically. He was buried and he rose from the dead. Now Jesus went up and sat at the right, at the right hand of his father the human side of the Lord. Jesus of Nazareth, the, the human, the perfect man got up and went up to heaven and sat at the right hand of the Father. Not the Son of God, the Son of Man sat at the right hand of the Father. Now Jesus is no longer with us on earth physically, but his spirit has to remain because Satan is not finished off as yet. Judgment hasn't come yet. So now Jesus in his spirit needs to be on earth. So what did he do? In his spirit now he dwells in his children, the Christian realm, the church. He remained legal on earth through his children. Now the Lord Jesus is fighting against Satan through us. 
God fought against Satan through Jesus, but Jesus went up, so now God is fighting against Satan through his children, us, the church.